following tile balance of Gantar Limited as on 31st March 2019 prepare their financial statements and the details of their financial statement is given almost all the items are familiar to you some items may be hearing for the first time don't worry we will discuss each of these items in the additional information inventory on 31 3 2019 is given that is a closing stock provide for depreciation on planned and finally equity shares issued during the year 1 lakh and share premium is 10,000 so now let us discuss the case first of all let us begin with statement of profit and loss and this is the format I believe you all know the format for preparing the statement of profit and loss let us begin with the first one the revenue from operations we all know what is the main source of revenue if you go through it find out the revenues see revenue is directly given 8 lakh 20 thousand and there are no other information regarding other revenue so we can leave that area and go for the next one so let us take the total of revenue side total income is 8 lakh 20 thousand now next area is expenses and why in this case we will mention those items for which the details is given in the question so as per the details given here you can see that see purchases 3 lakh 40 thousand make sure whether there are any returns with regard to that and not only the returns whether there are any adjustment relating those items so purchases 3 lakh 40 thousand after that next the most important one the change in inventory I believe you all know how to deal with change in inventory opening stock minus closing stock here opening stock is given 2 lakh 20 thousand closing stock is given so you, from the values itself you can easily identify that your value will be a negative one opening stock is 2 lakh 20 thousand closing stock is 3 lakh so 80 thousand you can either show this computation in the statement itself or you can show as an additional loan it's up to your discretion but show the amount correctly so minus 80 thousand after that next is finance cost finance cost means all those expenses with regard to any loan or credit obtained by the concern from the details given you can see that see interest on loan is there there are no other expenses that comes under finance cost so interest on loan 32,000 so interest finance cost include interest on loan 32,000 so show that amount here 32,000 next is other expenses and we can see that there are some items which we have in included in the above heads so other expenses mainly includes office expenses is there distribution cost is there and there are no other expenses but for the time being we can include one more thing that is depreciation so you may think that why depreciation is included under other expenses because usually depreciation is a separate head that has to be shown in the statement directly because in the adjustment it is mentioned that provide depreciation on plant and allocate to the administrative expenses depreciation has to be shown under administrative expenses that is why we are showing here under other expenses depreciation of the plant is plan value is 10 lakhs 10 lakh into 10 percentage 1 lakh so total is 2 lakh 92 thousand show that amount here now we have almost included all the expenses items now take the total of expenses you will get 5 lakh 84 thousand we have the total of income as well as the total of expenses so you can easily identify the profit for the period not profit for the period profit for before tax profit before tax is this one minus this one you will get 2 lakh 36 thousand 
from that you need to adjust the tax amount make sure whether there is any information regarding tax mentioned in the question see income tax expenses is already mentioned otherwise go through the additional information anywhere the details of the tax will be given so deduct the tax amount 20,000 now you will get profit after tax that is 216,000 now make sure whether there are any items that has to be included under this statement you can see that one item you are seeing for the first time that is exchange differences actually exchange differences that comes under other comprehensive income so let us include under other comprehensive head that is other comprehensive income exchange differences 10,000 and it will be shown under other comprehensive income now we have loaded almost all the items <coughs> Now we can find the profit for the year 2,26,000. So we have completed the statement of profit and loss. Now next one you need to find is statement of changes in equity. We have learned about statement of changes in equity. In the question they may not mention it just like the profit and loss account and balance sheet. It will not be mentioned in the question. You have to prepare. It is implied that is you must prepare. So, let next see statement of changes in equity on the basis of given information identify what all items that comes under equity or we can say shareholders fund see equity capital is there show that here share premium show that amount retained earnings show that amount uh, other items make sure whether these items that increases or included in the capital no these items may not cannot be included dividend paid cannot be included. See, we have almost shown all the items. Now, take the opening balances. In the question, balances of each of the item is given. Retained earning is given. But thing is, you cannot this show these amounts in as opening balance because it is not mentioned in the question as opening balance. Only the information regarding retained earnings is given mentioned as opening balance. So we can show the opening balance of retained earnings directly, but you can't show this amount directly because there is no information regarding opening balance. But go through the adjustment, you can see that equity shares issued during the year is one lakh and share premium issued during the year is 10,000 so in the trial balance it is actually the amount for the entire period and in the adjustment it is mentioned that during the period the equity shares issued is 1 lakh but in the total it is shown that 4 lakhs so during the period there is only 1 lakh was created or in raised and by the end it is rupees 4 lakh then what will be the opening balance that is 3 lakhs and just like that share premium also it is given 1 lakh is the total amount by the end and during the period share premium raised or uh, the company received amount by way of share premium is 10,000 so what will be the opening balance 30,000 so this, that's, that is how you have to show the opening balance see balance as on opening day 3 lakhs 90,000 and 1 lakh 60,000 see here share premium is 1 lakh here the share premium amount is 10,000 so the difference is 90,000 and retained earnings is directly even so 1 lakh 60,000 add these three amounts you will get 5 lakh 50,000 now you can include details of this one because these two items are issued during the year so issued during the year is 1 lakh and 10,000 you will get 1 lakh 10,000 next is the important area which you have to be very careful we have included almost all the items that has to be shown in the statement of changes in equity but still our work is not done there is one more important items that are there first one we have to take is profit for the period during the year we have computed as per our computation the profit for the year is 2,26,000 you have to show that item in here because statement of changes in equity includes all those items that belongs to the shareholders so profit for the year is 2,26,000 if there is any information regarding opening profit or opening balance of profit you should have you could have shown the same here also but here 
don't forget to include this item if you are preparing statement of changes in equity 2,26,000 next one if you go through these statements you can see that there is one more item that has to be considered see dividend paid it is actually made out of profit so we have to show that amount here dividend paid means it is always paid out of profits or we can say retained earnings profit and retained earnings are the terms used synonymously so 80,000 in within brackets you have to show in this column and the same item has to be shown here finally take the totals of all the columns you will get 4 lakhs 1 lakhs 3 lakhs 6,000 and 8 lakhs 6,000 so this is how you have to prepare the statement of changes in equity now let us go for the preparation of statement of financial position see uh, here this is the copy of the slide which we have done in the last slide question is there additional information is there these were the computations we have done now on the base of all this information let us prepare statement of financial position so first of all write down the title statement of financial position and we will begin with assets under assets first item is non current assets under non current assets we know the first item is property plant and equipment and from the question you can see that there are more than one fixed assets so let us find out what are the items of fixed asset given in the question here you can see that property plant and document there is only one item ok there is only one item 10 lakhs but we can't show directly this 10 lakh in the statement because there is an adjustment with regard to the plant is already mentioned so we can show only the net value of the asset that is 10 lakhs minus depreciation 9 lakhs so you can show the 9 lakh here but not the 10 lakhs next one check whether whether, whether whether there is any more assets mentioned in the question see biological assets is there show that amount 3 lakhs and after that make sure whether there is any more assets that has to be shown see investment in shares that comes under non current assets investments Three lakhs it has to be shown and we have included almost all the non current assets now let us go for the current assets we will begin with first of all inventory here inventory opening balance is given in the question but never take it because we here we are preparing the balance sheet in the balance sheet we will consider only closing stock so go for the adjustment you can see 3 lakhs show the 3 lakhs here next one go through each item whether there are any more current items cash equivalents are there trade receivables are there show those items so trade receivables 1 lakhs cash and cash equivalents are also there 3,60,000 and deferred tax assets 1 lakh so show all the assets in the respective columns take their total you will get 8,60,000 now we can take the total of the assets you will get 23,60,000 now let us go for the liability side we will begin with equity equity includes equity capital and other equity equity is directly mentioned 4 lakhs and now while dealing with the equity side instead of going through the question or additional information or statement of profit and loss you can go for the statement of changes in equity here you have computed the correct value of the each items that is to be appear in the end of the period so equity capital is there 4 lakh show that 4 lakh here next one other equity so while computing other equity you have to be very careful other equity means see check 
the equity statement you can see that apart from share capital other equity includes share premium and retained earnings so identify these two items so we can do a note other equity includes share premium what is the share premium amount total 1 lakh show that amount here retained earnings instead of going through this question and adjustments it's better to go for the total that appear in the statement of changes in equity retained earnings total is 360000 show that 360000 here there is the total you will get 460000 show em the amount here now let us go for the non current liabilities check for the any non current liabilities mentioned in the question here loan from bank is there long term employee benefit is there so all these items comes under non current liabilities show under the respective heads loan from bank 3 lakh 20000 loan term employee benefit is 9 lakh 64000 and now we can finally go for the current liabilities and again check from the beginning whether there are any information regarding current liabilities first one is straight payable 60000 after that go through each item see one more item bank overdraft is here 2 lakh 10000 and check the adjustments also whether we have skipped any item we have included almost all the items now take the total of liability side you will get 23 lakh 60000 see assets and liabilities we got the same value so this is how a final account with regard to the INDS is prepared see statement of financial position and before that statement of profit and loss statement of changes in equity and finally statement of financial position this is a typical form of final accounts of a corporate concern that is complying with the INDS so we have completed almost all the areas specified as per your university syllabus go through all these areas go through the cases which we have discussed even though it's a problem paper don't concentrate only on problem side we have to give importance to the theory also so go through all the aspects go through all the points which we have discussed uh, not only the cases we have discussed also try to work out more problems relating to the same area If you have any queries regarding any of the topics which we have discussed, please do let me know. So study well for the your examinations.